Springfield's Horizon Science Academy was closed today. The school sent a message out to parents this morning saying that they had had too many teachers calling off, choosing to use a calamity day. Our Michael Sandlin joins us live in studio with more details. And Michael, the school says it didn't have enough teachers for class today. Just how many were out? Jeff, according to the school, they had five teachers out today. <clears throat> some of those were planned, some weren't, but the school says it simply couldn't absorb the loss. Now you might be asking, why couldn't they just get subs to fill in the positions? It's because we're seeing historically low numbers of subs and teachers alike. And experts say it's a problem we're seeing on a national level. Normally, the Horizon Science Academy on Reynolds Road would be bustling with students on a Friday. But today, the classrooms are empty. The sign on the door simply reads, no school today. Explaining the details in a statement to WTOL 11, the school said they were unable to sufficiently absorb the five staff call-offs and chose to use a calamity day instead of doubling up classrooms. Horizon Academy reps say they had reached out to parents and staff early this morning with emails and texts to let them know, but some didn't get the memo, with one mother writing on the school's Facebook page that this morning the parking lot was full of angry parents. It's a frustrating scenario for parents and staff alike, but with a nationwide teacher and substitute shortage, there's simply no one to fill the slots. It's a national um, crisis right now. Is the number of teachers going into um, education as a profession has dramatically decreased. That's Lori Reffert, the Senior Director of Talent Acquisition and Management at Toledo Public Schools. Reffert is a guest on this week's Leading Edge. She says it's been an unprecedented issue, one that's affecting almost every school across the country. Reffert says while the issue is multi-tiered, a big part comes down to the increasing pressure put on teachers. Um, they feel the stress from home, they feel the stress from the community, they feel the stress from just the narrative that's out there, and, um, and it's not good for them, nor is it good for our students. The issue is so severe nationwide, the White House is partnering with several job search firms to help school districts recruit and hire more teachers. But for now, BGSU's Dean of Education says the situation is dire. I had email messages this summer, uh, one of them from a superintendent who's looking for a second grade teacher. It, like there was a time when there would have been hundreds of applications for a second grade position and they couldn't find a qualified teacher for a second grade classroom. Horizon Academy says that students and parents can expect school to resume as normal on Tuesday. We're reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.